My name is John Kitching, and I'm a physicist here at NIST. I am in the Time and Frequency Division, and we build, uh, among other things, very small atomic clocks. This is primarily a fabrication laboratory, and so what we do here is we make a lot of the different pieces that go into these atomic clocks. One of the most important components is a very small laser. These are very similar to the lasers that are used in CD players, and we mount these on a, a little substrate. Uh, to produce the light that is used to interrogate the atoms. Another very important piece of these clocks is the alkali vapor cell. That is the cell that actually contains the atoms that are used in the atomic clock. And that alkali vapor cell was um, a, uh, the way that we make those cells was developed here at NIST. It's a new technology and it enables us to make the clocks very, very small. Um, while at the same time retaining all of the precision inherent in a, an atomic clock. So it turns out that uh, this uh, miniaturization technology can be used in a number of other different things. And in fact, I would say that we're still uh, discovering things that we can use it for. Uh, one, of the, um, uh, one of the very important other devices uh, is a magnetometer. And those are instruments that measure uh, magnetic fields uh, produced either by the Earth or by metallic objects. So we're, we're developing, again, very small, low power, but highly sensitive uh, magnetometers for uh, use in a variety of different applications. One of the ones that we're really interested in right now is uh, biomagnetism, that is measuring the magnetic field from uh, the heart uh, or the brain of uh, animals and human beings. Um, this is uh, very important for um, uh, some types of healthcare diagnostics. And it's a research area in and of its own. For example, um, epilepsy uh, is uh, something where um, uh, diagnostics of brain activity uh, through magnetic imaging uh, can provide a lot of insight.